hoping that you have some really good ideas already. If not, then you better think quickly. We are doing writing. We are working on this sheet that I gave you, the main idea pyramid. The point is, what I would suggest, I gave each student three of these to represent the three paragraphs in the body of your paper. So, what is the topic, what is the concept of paragraph number one? And then we're going to fill it out. So that is what we're working on now, is the body of the paper about Martin Luther King Jr. All right, I want to start brainstorming. I see a lot of blank faces, which makes me very nervous. There shouldn't be blank faces. We had just finished reading the book. We talked about all the things he's done several times. So now I need you to start thinking. What is it that you want to talk about in your paper? So let us start brainstorming. Oh. Thank you. Sorry, friends. Brainstorming ideas. What did he do? What were their accomplishments? In this sheet, where's the sheet with all of the little squares and... Christian, can you hold that one up, please? That sheet of paper with all of the squares, the information, that should be filled out. If not, then you are behind, and you need to take that home this weekend and work on it. So that should be filled out because that is going to help you fill this out. What are his accomplishments? Let's start rattling them off because that should be something that you have already thought about that you're going to write about. What are Martin Luther King Jr.'s accomplishments? What did he do? What did he work on? That should be topic concept on the top of your pyramid. So ideas. Luke. I'm just going to write these down. I am not going to write down dates. However, you will, correct? On your paper? Dates are very important. Tessa. He what? From where? Oh, Crozer? I don't know. How do you spell that? Crozer is a C. I'm going to get my book out. I tell you, I can't hear you. That was where he got his doctorate from. From he graduated from high school or from college from where? Where did Martin Luther King graduate from college? Jeremiah. Morehouse. Morehouse. So let's write both. Does it say? He graduated from Morehouse and not right this morning. All right, other accomplishments. I need more hands up. I need more participation. We are not going to sit there with blank looks on your face. This should be something you've already thought about. We are going to start writing this paper next week. And then it's going to be due the following week. So this is something that we need to be thinking about. We need to be working on. I see a lot of blank papers, which I should not see. Um, Cole. Um, stop. All right. What else did he do? M.
what else did he do? I am not going to just call on M the whole day. So what were his, some of his accomplishments? What is something that you admired that he did? James. Jonathan. Uh, he did the boycott. What boycott? Huh? What boycott? Bus boycott. Bus boycott. You have to be specific. Helen. He, um, in 1963, he leads a boycott of white-owned businesses. Oh, I'm running out of space. Okay. Boycott. Bus boycott and... All right. Olivia. Selma, from Selma. So I'm just going to say Selma March. Christian. Did the Montgomery bus boycott? Yep, we did that already. But yep, that's a big one. Um, Again, I need more people than M. Grayson, what is your favorite thing that Martin Luther King Jr. did? Um, Don't look up here. Look in your sheet. What did you write down? Did you have anything else written down on your sheet with the, all of the squares and the circles? That's what should, everybody should have that out and you should be looking at that because that is what you've already brainstormed. You already wrote down three things that you admired about him. Was there anything different or what did you have down? Accomplishments. What did you have written down for accomplishments? Or do you not have anything written down? I have stuff. Okay. Well, what, which one was your favorite out of those three? Um, the Nobel Peace Prize. Okay. Good. All right. We've got a decent amount here, friends. So what you're going to do on the top of one of um, each of those, on your main idea, you're going to pick one and write it under topic or concept. You're going to pick your favorite three, and you're going to put them on each of those three sheets. One on each of those three sheets. So. You are going to, for example, do not copy me, I'm just saying. Let's say on this one, I'm going to write the Selma March. On this one, I'm going to write the Nobel Peace Prize. And on this one, I'm going to write the bus boycott. So you're going to pick your three favorite, or the things that you admire most, and you're going to write them one on each of these three papers. And then from there, you are going to go and fill it out. So I need to see writing, Sam. Pick your top three and write them on your good. We're going to fill those up. You need to do the same thing for these two as well. Pick this, you need to. So these technically are going to be your three paragraphs, or at least two of them. If you want to do more of the, his, um, when he was born and family, and that would be one. But these are going to give you a good idea of what you could possibly do. Do not have to do something that's 
comments on the board. If you have something else, go for it. Those were just ideas that you can use. Any questions? So make sure you have the very first one, the biographical pyramid. That is the very first pyramid that we filled out. Have that out too as an example of what we've already done. That's helpful. But continue to write what the three you want to write about. Now, is it written in stone that these are going to be the three things you're going to write about? No. no. But it really gives you a good way to start writing, brainstorming, getting creative, getting your ideas. Yes, Jeremiah? Do we do more than three paragraphs? No. We're going to do three. you have your topics in the designated spot. All right. So, James, what is one that you chose? Just, I have a dream. I have a dream. So, let's go with that. We're going to do some brainstorming. Does anyone else have I have a dream? As Okay, good. Oh, a lot of you. Awesome. So, two related words that can go with I have a dream. For example, was I have a dream speech inspirational? Was it well spoken, well delivered? What are some other words that you could use to describe I have a dream speech? That is what you need to write in your two word related words. How would you describe I have a dream? You guys got to listen to it. What did you think about it? What are two ways you would describe I have a dream speech? I need your ideas. Jonathan. Uh, very meaningful. Me very what? Very, uh, like, um, like. Did you say meaningful? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write words down because I think we do better when I start writing down. So, in, I had, I said inspirational. Jonathan said meaningful. Meaningful. Inspirational. What else? Christian. Truthful. Truthful. Grayson. Confident. Confident. Very good. I like that. Luke. Fearless. Fearless. Ooh, nice. Descriptive. I love it. Emma. Unique. Unique. Very unique. Anything else? Jeremiah. Um, Determined. How about that? 
because it's got to be one word in this one. Very determined. <laughs> that is one thing you could describe with Martin Luther King Jr. All right, so if you have another one, that's fine. If you are doing I Have a Dream, pick two of those words and write it in your two related words. So you can pick meaningful, fearless, inspirational, unique, determined, truthful, confident, inspirational, whatever you want. If you're not doing, if this fits your topic, please use these words. Who has another topic that you um, are doing besides I Have a Dream? Grant. So what are some words that would describe stopping the Jim Crow laws? Let's write some words for that. Some of them can be used. I would say confident, determined, fearless, inspirational. Actually, all of those could be used. Any other words for stopping the Jim Crow laws that you want to add to the list? What's another topic? So we have, I have a dream, Jim Crow laws. What else do we have? Somebody name someone out, one out. Minister. Minister. All right, what are some words? We can definitely add some words for that. What is the, some other words for him being a minister? What can we add for related words? Friend, wake up and track. Let's go. I need words. What would you say for a minister? What would be some words that you would use to describe that? Jonathan. Uh, truthful. That's already up there. I want a d different word that's not up on the board. Owen. Olivia. Loyal. Loyal. Machine. Peaceful. Peaceful. Grayson. Kind. Kind. Jeremiah. Trustful. Trustworthy. What about faithful? Who is he faithful to? Most first and foremost, James. God. Yeah. M. Caring. What is it? Caring. Caring. A lot of these words, if not all of them, for that matter, could be described for any of your topics. Okay, so pick what you think is best that fits. What is another topic that we don't have on the board? Christian. Nobel Peace Prize. What's that? Oh, Nobel. Yeah. We'll put that over here. Could you add to the board for Nobel Peace Prize? M. Yeah, I was going to say, I would say that in one word. So friends, what you need to be doing is writing in all three of your sheets how you want to represent your particular topic. We're writing a bunch of words down. Um, Helen. Peaceful. We've got peaceful right here. Grayson. Happy. Happy. Any, um, oh, Cole. Smart. Smart. Luke. Wise. Wise. Any other topic? Luke. Um, I have another. Oh, another, uh, pick. What, what is the word? Strong. Strong. 
Very strong. Jonathan. Uh, generous. Generous. Helen. I just wanted to say the, um, For topic? Yeah. What's that? Dinosaur talk? Yes. Kind of running out of space, so <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> I'm going to put a star by the topics. And then the rest are descriptions, okay? All right, let's move on. So, was there anything that you wanted to add about the bus boycott? As far as descriptions. Yes, Grayson. Um, I have a topic. Oh, okay. What's the topic? Selma March. The Selma March. I'm going to move my little old guy over here. And I'm going to move this little guy here. All right. Anything we want to add for descriptives for the Selma March or the, what was the one that we had? Oh, the bus boycott. Is there anything that you'd want to use for descriptives? We've got a lot of really good ones up that would go with any of the topics. It's just a matter if you can read Mrs. Beach's writing on the board. A lot of word, awesome words up there. Main idea in three words. This is when you have to boil it down into a three-word description. So, let's take I Have a Dream, since that was the first one we did. How would you describe that in three words? Now look at your... Your first one you did, because that will give you some good um, inspiration. Before we start, does everybody have what they want before I start erasing the masterpiece on the whiteboard? Yes. yes. Grayson. Um, I, would just, I would just put in my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Olivia, did you need more time? Okay. So I'm going to erase this. I'm going to keep the stars because those are our topics. I'm going to erase the descriptors. Nice job, friends. You guys have, you all have done a good job on coming up with words. So, fantastic. All right, so what are three words, main ideas in three words for I Have a Dream? We're going to start with that one since that was the first one we started with. Owen. It's three words, so it's like a three-word phase, phrase, like, for um, seeking religious freedom, which is not what I have a dream of, uh, but that's what I mean. Three words that describe it. Cole. Peaceful, smart, What's that? A great leader. Good. Emma. But we're talking about I have a dream. But if you have something that fits that, it's a good three word. A, Emma said a peaceful protester. So that could go with the bus boycott, the Selma march. The, I have, could even go with the Nobel Peace Prize. So if you want to use that for one of those, I would write it down, a peaceful protester. But it doesn't really fit with the I have a dream. Any others for I have a dream, M? A kind speech. Christian. Um, 
A what? That's four. You want to say trusted in God? That would be a good one for minister. But also for I have a dream because he prayed before that speech. Trusted in, that would be a good one for the minister as well. Jonathan. Together in brotherhood. Together in brotherhood. Wow, awesome. All right, so, so now example details in four words. So we did, see we're just doing a pyramid, so we're adding more layers or levels to our pyramid. So since we did the three words in I have a dream, let's pick the Nobel Peace Prize for this next one. What are four words that describe that? Example details in four words. That's five. Drop peace to. So think about that. Brought peace. How could you say that in four words? Brought peace to others. Machine. Brought peace to everyone. Well, that's kind of what that is. Anything else you could add? So this is what you're going to use these ideas to do all of them. Won an important award, brought peace to others. Anything else you want to add? So you have to do that for all three of yours. Any questions? And then from this, is going to make your writing your paragraphs a lot easier. All right. Now you all can work on yours as well.